Hello, good people, and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. Microsoft Excel doesn't have a dedicated function you can use to convert your numbers to text yet. I'm sure this is going to be possible in the near future. But in the meantime, we can create our own function or create an add-in that can convert numbers to text in our local currency. So if you are game, join me in Excel and let's go through this in a few minutes. Okay, so when you type convert numbers into words, Microsoft support already gives you an article on how to create this. So I'm currently in this article. It provides a code. So even if you are not a VBA person, all you need to do is to copy the code. Okay, so from option all the way to end function, just make sure you've covered everything as I've done. Okay, so you copy and you open any Excel workbook. Right, so the basic idea is this code is going to generate a function, right? A user defined function we call the UDF. Okay. Very easy to do. So once this opens up, you go to the developer tab. Okay, so if you don't have this, you can activate it or you can just press Alt F11. Okay. It brings you into the Visual Basic Editor, which is this window. Okay, so once this opens up, look for insert okay and then you insert a new model right so in this new model you just paste what you copied okay now this is denominated in dollars and cents right so once this has been copied and pasted you can now replace all dollars to your local currency and cents as well so i'll just press ctrl h Okay, this brings up the find and replace dialog box. So I'll put in dollars. So in Ghana, our local currency is CDs. And I'll choose replace all. Okay. Then there's also an instance for a dollar. So this would also be replaced with CD. So I'll replace this one as well. Then the decimals instead of cents. Okay. I'm going to replace this with pesos. Okay, so send to pesos. And then finally, I'll do send okay, to pesos. And then replace this as well. Okay, so this should be fine, but there are some few things I need to draw your attention to. Based on how we copied this, okay. If you compile this code, so compiling means you are just testing. Okay, so if I compile this, there's a syntax error somewhere. Okay, it came about because of how we copied this. There's a line break. Okay, so this line break, we need to get rid of this underscore. Okay, so you just back this out. Okay, and this is fine. There's a second one somewhere here. Okay, so again, there's this underscore. So I can get rid of this and then bring this line here. Okay. And then push this comment down. Okay. So this should be a comment. So this should be fine. So you don't have to worry about all these changes. I've pasted the corrected code in the workbook I'll share with you. So you can just copy it directly. Okay. So when I close this window and then let's say I generate some random numbers. So I'm going to use run between. Let's say from 1000 to 9000. Okay, and I press enter. I can now have access to spell number. So this is the function that we just created. So I can just select this okay, and copy it down. Okay, so you realize that it works okay, in your local currency. So this is one example using the code to create the user defined function. Now, Let's create the same thing with a formula. So again, I'm going to share this workbook with you. There's also this formula. So I'm going to copy this, Control C. Now know that this is referencing B3. So if your value is not in B3, then you probably have to make amends. So let me put any number here in B3. Okay, and then when I paste 
this formula and I double click. It's a very long formula, but don't worry. We are going to put all of this into one Lambda function. Okay, so it gives me the same thing here. Okay, now what we are going to learn here is instead of always changing the cell reference, you can convert this again into a dedicated function. So Lambda functions can be created in the advanced formula environment, which is an add-in. You don't have it installed, okay? You can go to insert, okay? Add-ins, get add-ins, okay? And then you look for advanced formula, okay? So this advanced formula environment is the new environment to create Lambda functions, okay? So once you add it, it will be installed. You can find it under the formula tab, okay? This would appear here, okay? So this is going to help us. Let me just delete these. Okay, so what we are going to do is, in all instances of B3, okay, we are going to replace this with an argument, right? So I'm going to select these two cells together, okay? Control H, and then look for B3, that is a cell, and then replace it with number. So number will be the argument in the function you are going to create. And then I'll click replace all. Okay, so we have 65 replacement. Okay, so next up is we are now going to copy the whole of this. You can stand in the formula bar, control A, control C to copy. Okay, then we go to formulas and then we start our advanced formula environment. Okay, so what this basically does is it helps you convert all your formulas into a named function, right? So I'll come to names, okay? And then I'm going to add a new name. So this, I can give it a different name from spell number, maybe call it number to text, okay? And then the description as we have it in most Excel formulas is convert a number to text, right? And then the argument that it needs is number, which we have provided for over here okay so i'm going to add that okay and then now i can now paste my entire formula okay then i'll click done okay so that is how this works so this is done now so i can come in here and then create number to text and then get this guy and then it converts that okay so that is the second way now let me show you the third way it is possible that you may need this in all your Excel workbooks, okay? So after creating this or saving it in the new Excel workbook you created, okay? We can save this file as an Excel add-in file. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to press F12. Okay, so F12 will give me a save as option, okay? And then here I'll choose as an Excel add-in, right? So it's going to go into this save folder, okay? Where all add-ins are stored. So notes the name, number to text, workbook, okay? And then I'll save this, okay? So what this means is that if I open a new Excel workbook, right? I can now come to file, go to options, okay? Get add-ins. So this is an Excel add-in, I'll click go. And then I now have my number to text add-in here. Okay, and then I'll click okay. Okay, so now every workbook that I open, okay, I can get the spell number function available, okay, because I've created an add-in. So here I've given you three options. So you can use uh, Microsoft supports code to create a user-defined function, okay? So this code I've put in this workbook, so you can copy and change the currency, okay? The formula is also here. You can use it in the Lambda environment to create your own function. And then you can also save this workbook as an Excel add-in, so you can have access to your function across all your workbooks. So I hope it helps. Please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks. Thank you. If this video was helpful, 
and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your WhatsApp, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel Finest Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.